Okay, now this is HostGator website. As previously I mentioned, this is where you would register um, for a web hosting plan. Okay, now this is where you will upload your website files so that they can be accessed by the internet. So you've got a number of different options. What we're looking for is uh, well, you choose whichever one, whichever plan suits you but they've got them all detailed here so you've got it's pretty low as far as costs go okay it's not very expensive um, it's like on a three year if you're signing up for three years it works out to be three dollars ninety six a month two years uh, it's four dollars seventy six a month like so it's 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 very very cheap so um, very affordable and then you've got your baby plan your business plan um, and you can compare all the hosting plans here so you just click on the link and it just takes you through all the different plans and the options that it has the disk space which is awesome on all plans because it's totally unlimited your bandwidth all right you can point one domain to the hatchling account which is probably what most of us need to start off with and you can always upgrade this just means you can point a number of different domains to this particular web hosting account okay um, then you've got all these options here which aren't part of this package you'd have to upgrade to that one there and then you've got all these other features here which are included they give you a Google's uh, a Google AdWords $100 credit voucher which is kinda nice and that's for the Google AdWords network if you're doing any any uh, pay-per-click advertising to send traffic to your website and so so and it just takes you through all of the features now this particular hosting package is on a Unix server or Linux it's not a Windows package so for installing WordPress you need to get a Unix or a Linux um, uh, hosting package okay um, you don't want to go for a Windows Linux or Unix is much cheaper it's far more effective in my opinion more efficient and uh, and you need to have that type of package to to uh, be able to install the WordPress uh, software and so just have a look through all these um, options I don't think they do Windows Server options here if they do it's tucked away it's not normally the most um, popular popular um, type of service uh, it's most people will go for a Unix based uh, Unix based hosting service which will then have control panel and control panel I'll just take you over into there this is logged into one of my accounts this is the service uh, this is the control panel inside your hosting account so you can go in here and you can set up your email accounts uh, you got your webmail so you can access emails through the the web account the online through the browser You've got all these different features file manager uh, disk usage you've got your statistics here so you can see all the people all the amount of visits and downloads and etc and then you've got you know you can set up subdomains depending on what account you've got and then so it's so forth and so forth most of us very rarely need to use any of this um, but with WordPress you need to find a hosting a hosting service which has the cPanel um, cPanel software on a on a Unix server you won't get cPanel on a Windows server okay uh, that doesn't they don't have that option uh, so you just by default all their service are serving sorry excuse me server packages or hosting server packages are all on a Unix server so have a peruse through there um, it also talks about WordPress hosting here so these guys are set up for it um, by automatically when they you set up an account all the permissions on the directories and everything set up automatically you don't have to worry about any of that um, all you need to do is then go in and set up and install WordPress so once you've uh, set up your account the next bit is you'll get an email like you did with the name the domain name hosting provider and they'll send you an email with your confirmation of payment receipt um, the domain 
access. So it'll give you a temporary link that allows you to access your host hosting server, which is here. So if I log out, for example, what happens is it takes you, when you first log in, you'll go to a, a cPanel access like this. And uh, when I log in again, Oh, that's right. I just, sorry, I've changed my password just recently. Hang on a second. I'll log in again. There we go. Logged in now. And this is once you've logged in through your cPanel, you get access into your web hosting server. And uh, you can have a look in here, file manager. And this just shows you all the files in your public directory. Okay. Now, currently, I've got all my sites set up in here. But when you first get it, you'll find there'll only be the basic uh, few files and your images and your CGI bin, that's it. Um, so that's how that works. Again, you don't need to go into any of this, okay? So the next step is to then install your WordPress software. Okay, so now we've got the hosting package set up. And by now, they've sent you the emails, you get your login and all the information. They give you really good detailed information in the uh, emails and there's some they've got fantastic support at HostGator too. Um, they're very efficient, respond really fast so if you do have an issue just log a support ticket and they'll action it very quickly for you. They're great. Um, so then basically we need to go down and set up our host our, our WordPress. Now I'll show you, I mentioned earlier there's two ways of doing this. You can in, download the software automatic uh, uh, from the wordpress.org site or you can do it the simple way. Now as part of the of the cPanel software for managing servers, hosting servers, they've got a piece of software in here called Fantastico. Now this is how you will install WordPress. It's totally awesome. So click on Fantastico. And you come into a section like this. Now, of course, I've already got a WordPress uh, installation installed. But what, what you can also do is you can install multiple versions of WordPress. So say, let's say, for example, you wanted to install just a something that on a just a blog only so you could have an existing website but you want to install just the blog um, so what you would do is come into here WordPress and you can create a new installation so you click on here now when you're setting up a new website okay this is just your website you would have you would you wouldn't install it into a directory. Okay, you just install it, you'd leave that empty, and you would install it on your default domain name, which is what you registered over here at namecheap.com. Okay, so then you would go into here and you would select an admin username and an admin password, and then you would you know, put a, an email address in here that's relevant for your admin, etc., site name. Again, you can change this once you're inside. Um, once you've installed it, you can change what the site name is and the description. Then you go and install WordPress. So what I'm going to do for this example is install it into a subdirectory. That just means I'm creating a new file folder and I'm going to call it uh, my blog, for example. And then I'm going to just say admin and admin for password admin and then quite simply all you need to do is click this okay and it comes up with this section here um, that's the URL to to the blog that I've installed or the WordPress um, software so that's it there um, it just confirms that and then you quite simply click finish installation now what this does is go and installs all the files into that file folder 
And you can also email the details to yourself. So you'll get all the login information, your password and everything sent to you via email. So if I want to go and have a look at this site here, now it's all set up, I can quite simply click on here and it will take me to a login screen. So admin, admin, and then we click on that. I don't want it to remember. And here's the dashboard. Okay, all WordPress software fully installed. Okay, uh, you'll notice sometimes there's new versions, so you really want to update those um, when you're installing WordPress. You want to have the latest update because they they provide security updates as well within that um, within that software update, and it's quite important. Um, so this is the basic screen, the dashboard, and then if you want to visit the actual site, you see a little one here. You just quite. I'm just going to open it up in a new tab, and there it is. There, that's the default. That's a website ready to go. Um, with the default theme when they use it they use the term theme for the design of the website okay and this can all be changed really simply so i'm just going to leave that one there and uh in the next video i'll show you how we go about setting up your your own themes